This is Ellen K, the VHS guy, and this is going to be a VHS update for June 3rd, 2016. Let's start off with the 1994 VHS of White Earth with Kevin Costner, Dennis Quaid, and Gene Hackman. A masterpiece, romantic, heroic, and passionate to spec on to WWOR TV. And this is also a 1994 film. Spectacular. Kevin Costner is riveting. Dennis Quaid is dynamite to Susan Granger of CRN and American Movie Classics. This is really PG-13 for strong gunfights, some language and sensuality, and 191 minutes. Here's part one and part two. Both have sticker labels, and both tapes were printed on Valentine's Day, 1995. And next up is the 1998 VHS of The Peacemaker, with George Clooney and Nicole Kidman. A brother thriller says Janet Maslin with the New York Times. And the film is from 1997, and this is the first DreamWorks film. White Knuckle Tension with plenty of smarts is Gene Sound of the Today Show. This is rated R in its 2 hours and 4 minutes. Here's the ink label. Print day is May 15th, 1998. And next up is the 1991 VHS of The Shoes of the Fisherman with Anthony Quinn and the late Lawrence Olivier. And the film is from 1968. It's one of two MGMUA Copper Top titles I got today. The other one I'll show next. Best Picture of the Year says the National Board of Review. And this is rated G and it's 2 hours and, 41 minute, 2 hours and 40 minutes. I know Fisher Rachel has this one as well. Here's part one. Part two would say 2 hours and 32 minutes for some reason. Both tapes were printed on March 5th, 1994. And next, next one I have is the 1992 VHS of the Alamo with the late John Wayne, Richard, Rid Richard Widmark, Lawrence Harvey, and Richard Boone. Restored original director's cut. And the film is from 1960. And not only John Wayne starred in this movie, but he produced and directed as well. A diamond hard, rough hewn masterpiece. Emotionally and dramatically potent enough to make all hearts beat with pride, says the Chicago Daily News. And this is 3 hours and 22 minutes. This has a 40 minute documentary at the end of the movie. And it says MGM UA Home Video wishes to express its thanks to Michael Wayne for his support on this project. And Patrick Wayne also co stars in the film. And Michael and Patrick Wayne are both John Wayne's brothers. Here's part one and part two. Both tapes were put in on December 12th, 1994, which is 13 days before Christmas that year. And next up is the 1991 VHS of The Searchers with the late John Wayne once again. New Technicolor Restoration. The Western classic that towers above the rest. And this is directed by John Ford. And the film is from 1956. A movie milestone, restored to full technicolor glory. And this has added attractions before the movie, which are behind the scenes footage and the original theatrical trailer. And this is not rated and it's 144 minutes, which are the film and bonus footage together, which the behind the scenes footage are actually four segments from the Warner Brothers Presents TV series from the 50s. Here's a sticker label. Print date is September 20th, 1995. And next up is another John Wayne film. The 1990 VHS of The Horse Soldiers. Which co-stars William Holden. And the film is from 1959. This is still sealed. I'm definitely going to keep this sealed. A saber-rattling good picture says the Los Angeles Times. 
And this is an hour and 55 minutes. And next up is the 1992 VHS of Dave, David and Beth Sheba with Greg, the late Gregory Peck and Susan Hayward. This is another seal tape. A Kingdom Torn Apart by an Unholy Love. And the film is from 1951. And this is 116 minutes. And next up is the 1992 VHS of The Robe with Richard Burton, Gene Simmons, Victor Mature, and Michael Rennie. And this is a 1953 film. The first film to be filmed in Cinemascope. Richard, Simmons, Richard Burton and Gene Simmons star in a leg legendary biblical blockbuster. And this is 135 minutes. Got all, of you, got all of these at two garage sales today. Here's the sticker label, and there's no print date. And next up is the 1992 VHS of Sodom and Gomorrah with Stuart Granger and Pure Angelie. An all-star cast in a spectacular story of shameless sin. And this is a 1962 film. And this is 148 minutes. This is actually a 1963 film. My bad. Here's the sticker label. And there's no print date. And the next three are Walt Disney Cartoon Classics tapes. Here's the first one, which is Here's Donald from 1987. This is volume two. The cartoons are here on here are Wide Open Spaces from 1947, Don's Ostrich from 1937, and Crazy with the Heat from 1947. This is 22 minutes. Here's the sticker label, and there's no print dates. And here's another cartoon classics tape, the 1989 VHS of Nuts About Chip and Dale, and this is volume 12. And the cartoons are here are on here are Two Chips in the Mist from 1951, Food for Feudin from 1949, and Trevor Horn also from 1949. This is 22 minutes once again. Here's a sticker label. Print day is May 7th, 1990. And here is an early to mid 90s VHS of Happy Summer Days. This is a special edition. I know the box is not in the best of shape, best condition, but I'm still keeping it any, anyway since it's extremely rare. Cartoons on this tape are. Father's Lion, T for 200, The Simple Things, and Two Weeks Vacation. This is 27 minutes. And the other times from the special edition are fun on, fun on the Job and The Goofy World of Sports. Here's the ink label. Print date is December 18th, 1995, which was printed a week before Christmas that year. And next up is the... 1988 VHS of A Day at the Races with the Marx Brothers. And this is a 1937 film. I have the 1992 VHS as well, but I'm definitely keeping this one along with the 92 print. Three and a half stars. Many classic scenes as when a molten of TV movies. This is rated, not rated, it's an hour, an hour and 49 minutes. Here's the sticker label and the end label as well. So this must be a replica of the 1986 printing. And here's another Marx Brothers movie. The 1986 VHS of Duck Soup. And the film is from 1933. 
I also have a 1995 VHS of it as well, but I'm going to keep that long along that one along with this one. And this is an hour and ten minutes, so this is a shorter Mark Trevor's film. Here's the sticker label and then the label. And next up is the 1987 the Adjusts of Christmas in Connecticut with Barbara Stanwyck, Dennis Morgan, and Sidney Greenstreet. And this is a 1945 Warner Brothers film, which Turner bought the rights to in the mid-1980s. A delightful comedic confection. And this is an hour and 45 minutes, hour and 42 minutes, my bad. And Sidney Greenstreet was also in Casablanca, which I have that on VHS as well. Here's the sticker label. Print date is November 7th, 1988. And the last two are Doris Day films. And this is the 1993 VHS of On Moon White Bay, which co stars Gordon McRae. And the film is from 1951. Put on your straw boulder and cut up a little closer. And this is 95 minutes. Here's the sticker label. Print date is March 23rd, 1994. And here's the last tape for this update and another Doris Day movie. The 1996 VHS of By the Light of the Silvery Moon. Which also co-stars Gordon McRae once again. This is part of a Doris Day collection. We live the good old days with Day and McRae. And this is 100 minutes. And here are the other titles which I already showed on Moon White Bay. Here's the sticker label which has the boring shield. Proof dates are May 14th and June 5th, 2002. That's going to be it for my DHS update, and I'll see you later.